We're out shooting range today. My friend's uh, new uh, Mini 14 target. It's quite a rifle. He actually uh, gave it to me and says, hey, why don't you set this up for me? So that's exactly what I did. Um, we changed the scope on it, put a little bit upgraded scope on from what he had on it, uh, just so we can set it up. He can take it off later if he wants to. Uh, the interesting thing to note is Ruger sets the barrel where it looks the coolest, where it's even, but that may not exactly be where the thing ends up. Actually, this one here ended up two and a half uh, revolutions back, but that's okay. Uh, it's not what it looks like, it's what it shoots like. And believe me, this harmonic dampener makes a heck of a difference. We're going to go down and look at the target. Okay, this doesn't necessarily mean anything. This first target right here, this is just sighting it in. And here's the stock setting. Here's a quarter inch out, half or quarter turn out, half turn in from the stock setting, one inch in from the stock setting. No, it printed, no, it printed uh, three bullets in the same hole. Uh, one half uh, turns in from the stock, two, two and a half printed, three in the same hole. Uh, over here, this is uh, three turns in, and uh, it actually put two in the same hole and one's off. That might have been me. And uh, here's three and a half, pretty good. Uh, four turns in, it started going off the paper. I'm not sure what was happening. That's the extent of the alignment on it. Um, but anyway, it's uh, the, the tuning on that harmonic thing does make a difference. Okay, this is just kind of the rough alignment on it. Um, here's the pattern. I tweaked the scope over, and then I brought the scope down, and uh, that's pretty much what it's patterning. So we're going to go 200 yards with it now and see what it really does. Okay, I've uh, picked my rock. I'm going to take this rock here out to 200 yards. Put on the embankment, and I'm going to shoot the crap out of it. Hopefully, I'll hit it every time. Okay, we're getting ready to go 200 here. I just wanted you to see how far it really, really was, because uh, it's really out there. The first big berm is 100. The one way in the back there is 200, and that's where we got the rock set. Okay, we've got the camera zoomed up here, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. Let's see what we can do. The wind's coming up a little, but We'll be all right. All right, you hear that? Oh, the rock broke in half on us. Okay, there's half the rock. And there's the other half. Ooh, that one there exploded that time. Hope you've seen that. And let's see, we go back to the first half of the rock. Oh yeah, that went up in little chips. So, there you go. That baby kicks ass. Okay, there's a rock out there about the size of a, oh, maybe the size of a softball. I just turned the power on the scope down a little bit. Let's see if we can get on it. Just kick its ass, good. There it is, I think. There you go. That'd be a dead coyote many times over. Anyway, we got her all painted up. Uh, that, that paint will dry up pretty quick. I'm having a little hard time getting paint on because it's so cold out, but we'll do it. So now we got to get ready for our 300-yard shot. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here we go. It's going to be the first time at 300 yards. Uh, according to the ballistics table, uh, I should have to hold it over about 10 inches because I'm 0 to 200. The wind out here is really blowing. Kind of hard to tell which way it's coming from. It looks like it's across the range at about a 45 degree angle, uh, according to the ballistics table. 
you know, this guy's a good estimator. So 10 miles an hour, I'm going to have to say I'm going to have to hold it to the right about 8 inches. One. Five in a row. The wind's blowing at us as cold as crisp. I hope this time we can hear it on the camera. But this baby rocks. Oh boy. This looks really good. Oh boy. Now, under my adverse weather conditions, I want you to see where the hits are. They're not on the edge. They're dead ass center. That's because I rock. All right, had enough for today. I'm going home.